Welcome to my fridge tour! Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here and you're wondering what's in my tiny little Parisian fridge. What could possibly be in my fridge? Hmm, let's find out. <laughs> This is me, Emily. I live in Paris in a small studio. I'm very lucky to have a proper kitchen in here and I'm very lucky to have food in my fridge. But this is also my fridge, my tiny little fridge. I am a food blogger and I make a lot of recipes, yet this is my fridge. The reason why I'm doing this video is obviously to show you what I eat and what I keep in my fridge and all, but also because at least for me, it was very hard to relate to what other people were eating when I transitioned to veganism. And I just wanna show you that it's possible to eat healthy and vegan without having hundreds and hundreds of dollars in your fridge. This is by the way, a very realistic fridge. I haven't gone grocery shopping before. I go grocery shopping every every two to three days and that's the gener generality for a lot of Parisian because we all have tiny fridges I'm not the only one um, and yeah it's just a way of doing it and it keeps things fresh what's in my fridge let's find out In the door, I have some natural soy yogurt, Dijon mustard, these are hemp seeds, these are flax seeds that I have grinded. If you do not keep your flax seed in the fridge, you are missing out. No, but really, it's important to keep that in the fridge. Same thing goes with walnuts. Um, if you don't keep them in the fridge, the fat go bad really quickly and it's just not healthy to have. Down below, nutritional yeast. I usually order mine online because friends don't have really good nutritional yeast. Same thing goes for coconut aminos, which is a replacement to soy sauce. I order it online. This is some oat milk that I've made, some tamari sauce, just some kind of kombucha I won. Those are like cosmetic things. I have coffee too at the back. And now if we go up, matcha face mask, some curry paste, a little bit of ginger, and this is um, vegan butter. I honestly just eat that maybe three times a year for one recipe and it just go bad so quickly and I just end up using like this much and this goes to waste. I don't know what to do. There's no like smaller portion. I just don't know what to do with this. Let's move on. So here's some cooked quinoa I've made for the week. Under some roasted veggies, also for the week. These are cooked apples, also for the week. I use them to top oatmeal. I use them as dessert. I use them like that. Here is some coconut yogurt that I like. I sometimes make my own. Temperature of my room wasn't good to make some, but I'm gonna start doing mine again. At the very back, I have some olives. And here's some puff pastry. Below here is my protein section slash transform product section. So I have some plain tofu, I have a lot like I have at the back more. Tempeh, and here are some flavored tofu that I like to use. This is smoked almond sesame. Another one I like to use is this one, garlic. It's really good. Although very processed. Down there are my greens. I have found this is the best way to keep them fresh. So this is kale. I have those bags. I buy them in there, in that. And then I keep that in the fridge. It keeps it really fresh. And this is lettuce. And I've had this for four days. And look how fresh it is. I tried all the technique and this one is by far the best. And this is half a fennel. And I just keep it in a Tupperware with some water. Keeps it really fresh. Down below, another trick is never to close entirely your veggie jar if it doesn't have a little little bit of aeration, aeration? <laughs> air going through, otherwise it can condense. So what's in there? So I have summer veggies like pepper and eggplants, but you know what? I'm not perfect, so. Some broccoli in there, some cauliflower that needs to be eaten apples some lime what else yeah more apple carrots in this little compartment i keep 
ice cubes, edamame, and this is garden peas, except this is actually not the kind that I eat. It's the one that I put on myself when I'm injured and my muscle needs some ice. It's been defrosted and refrosted so many times that it's not good to eat, but it's good for my muscles. That's for the fridge, guys. I do have more fruits and vegetables. I'll show you that. In this little area here, some more things like potatoes and shallots and pumpkins. Under I have some walnuts. This is away from the light, so it's perfect. This is my fruit at the moment. We are in my living room. My freezer is in my living room because I just don't have any space in my kitchen. So let's have a look also it's very not eco-friendly i know and i know i need to do that okay just ignore that please i have a lot of blueberries i have one more i think at the back wild blueberries they're amazing i add them to my oatmeal some fresh peas that i eat this time these are french not french fries but fries of three different vegetables this is a mixed wok mix some bell pepper colored raspberries i like this one because it's the leftover that was broken and that's not used so i like it because i use something that would be thrown away anyways at the back i have some cauliflower you see that chou fleur and yeah that's it let me know if you want me to do a what's in my pantry version i could do that too all right i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon